My name is Wang Yiwei. I am a PhD student at the National University of Singapore. The paper I will be presenting today is titled Curgraph Curriculum Learning for Graph Classification. Graph classification is a fundamental task on graph data, which aims to predict the class labels of entire graphs. The modern tools of choice for this task are graph neural networks. Typically, graph neural networks build node representations from node features and graph topology via the message passing mechanism and then make graph level predictions by summarizing the node representations through a readout function. Curriculum learning was first formally proposed more than 10 years ago, inspired by human's learning process. An event starts with a simple initial state and then builds on that to handle more and more sophisticated concepts gradually. Recent years have witnessed successful applications of curriculum learning in the fields of computer vision and natural language processing. In terms of optimization, curriculum learning excludes the negative impacts from difficult or even noisy samples in the early training stages and guides the model towards better local minima in the parameter space. Motivated by this, we argue that graph neural networks can benefit from curriculum learning on graph classification, which, however, remains underexplored. A key challenge of designing a curriculum learning method for graph classification lies in how to evaluate the difficulty of graphs. The evaluation is non-trivial because the graph data is highly irregular and noisy. Each graph exhibits complicated relationships between nodes, and the number of nodes and edges vary by orders of magnitudes for different graphs. Prior curriculum learning approaches evaluate difficulty by defining the heuristic metrics by observing the characteristics of the particular target task. We can follow them to take the number of nodes and edges to evaluate graphs because higher number of nodes or edges implies more complicated topology. However, these heuristics relying on low-level features may not reflect the difficulty, uh, difficulty perceived by graph neural networks which learn high-level semantic features via a multi-layer nonlinear function and thus cannot generalize to different graph neural networks and datasets. To address the above challenges, the central idea of this paper is to encode the graphs into high-level semantic embeddings using graph neural networks and to calculate the difficulty scores based on the intra-class and inter-class distributions of embeddings. We encapsulate this idea into a new graph neural network framework called CurGraph, Curriculum Learning for Graph Classification, that uses the InfoMax method to obtain graph embeddings and a neural density estimator to model embedding distributions. Based on the difficulty scores, we further propose a smooth step method to provide a soft transition from easy to hard graphs for graph neural networks. Then at each training step, a graph neural network focuses on interesting examples that are near its border of capability, neither too easy nor too hard to expand the border gradually. Curgraph can be incorporated into popular graph neural network architectures for graph classification. It enhances graph neural networks without extra inference cost by fitting the graphs in an easy to difficult fashion for training. This figure shows our InfoMax curriculum design. We calculate difficulty scores from intraclass and interclass densities of graph embeddings. Levels of transparency are positively related to difficulty scores. 
the graph embeddings reflect the high-level semantic information that the graph neural network model obtains from input graphs. Thus, our analysis on graph embeddings infers the specific difficulty perceived by the graph neural network model and can generalize to different graph neural network models adaptively. We use the state-of-the-art unsupervised graph neural network scheme, InfoGraph, to obtain the graph level embeddings. InfoGraph obtains graph representations by maximizing the mutual information between graph level representations and the node level ones, so that the graph representations can learn to encode aspects of the data that are shared across all substructures. Recent research shows that the graph embeddings provided by InfoGraph are powerful on multiple downstream tasks. However, we extend its application to curriculum learning. InfoGraph follows the InfoMax optimization principle, so we call our method InfoMax curriculum design. By analyzing the neighbors for each graph in the embedding space, we derive the connections between the difficulty scores and the probability densities. The details can be found in the paper. The remaining task is to estimate the probability densities given the Im embedding set. This is a classical machine learning task known as density estimation, in which the state-of-the-art approach is neural density estimation. In our work, we use Block Neural Autoregressive Flow BNAF, a popular recent neural density estimator, due to its flexibility and efficiency. This figure shows the examples of different difficulty. Difficulty is determined by our curve graph implemented on the GIN model. The easy graphs hold simple topology and share popular and significant substructures such as the four-node complete subgraphs in the first row and the six-node ring subgraphs in the second row. In contrast, harder graphs generally hold more complex structures and their dominant pattern is not obvious. Curl graphs divide the training of graph neural networks into S stages. Accordingly, we sort the graphs by their difficulty scores in the ascending order, and I split them into S buckets. So the graphs are located into S levels of difficulty. More precisely, we set S minus 1 difficulty threshold values, ds from S equal to 1 to S minus 1. At the Sth training stage, we add the graph set in the new bucket to the existing graph subset. Then the graph neural network model is trained to converge on the current graph subset during the next training stage starts. Before the next training stage starts. Existing work on curriculum learning generally adds the whole set in the new bucket to the current graph subset in one shot. Denote an auxiliary time variant threshold on the difficulty values as DST where t is the epoch index reset to zero at the beginning of each training stage. The graphs of difficulty values lower than dst are used for training graph neural networks at epoch t. Then we can see that in the existing curriculum learning methods, dst is a step function jumping from ds minus one to ds when t is equal to zero. This is a hard transition because massive graph samples of diverse difficulty values from ds-1 to ds are added at the same time. We propose a noble smooth step threshold function, which gradually increases from ds-1 to ds in a smooth style. Our smooth step function is S-shaped and continuously differentiable, similar to the logistic function. Let rho be a hyperparameter between 0 and 1, 
the smooth step function is a cubic polynomial in the interval between 0 and rho t, ds minus 1 th to the left of the interval, and ds to the right, where t is the maximum epoch number. We visualize our smooth step difficulty threshold function in this figure. We note that variants of the smooth step function are popular in computer graphics. However, to the best of our knowledge, the smooth step function has not been used in graph neural networks or curriculum learning. Easy graphs can be seen as clean samples, which have fewer redundant graph structures and less noisy labels while the difficult graphs are noisy. At the early stages, curve graph feeds the graph neural network model only clean samples, helping, helping a graph neural network to learn fundamental features while protecting them from being perturbed by noisy samples. After that, curve graph feeds noisy samples to the graph neural network model gradually, allowing it to learn more meaningful and discriminative features. The data added later improves the generalization of capability of the model and allows the model to avoid overfitting over the easy graphs by providing a manner of regularization. Our smooth step method makes the samples be added smoothly following the order of their difficulty. As a result, at each training step, curve graph feeds a graph neural network interesting examples, which would be standing near the border of the graph neural network's capability, neither too easy nor too hard, so that the graph neural network can expand its border gradually. Overall, curve graph guides the optimization of graph neural networks, which is non-convex towards better local minima. In the experiments, we present the graph classification performance of graph neural network models trained by curve graph. We compare our method with baselines without curriculum learning, the strong curriculum learning methods from other fields, as well as heuristic difficulty measures based on the graph structures. We use the standard benchmark datasets for evaluation. The statistics of these datasets are summarized in this table. We use popular graph classification models as the baselines. In addition, we take the recently proposed curriculum learning frameworks designed for convolutional neural networks on image classification, curriculum net and DCL for comparison. More details of experimental settings can be found in the paper. We report the average and the standard deviation of test accuracy on the chemical datasets in this table. We report the average and the standard deviation on the social datasets in this table. As a result, curve graph enhances eigenpolling and the GIN models to outperform all the benchmark methods. DCL introduced the extra class level and instance level parameters to enable the neural networks to learn the difficulty values automatically during training. These redundant parameters increase the risks of overfitting, which is validated by their higher standard deviation values. More experimental results can be found in the paper. Thank you for watching.